welcome back to my studio I hope you're well today I'm doing another painting on a big piece of paper I went to the most fun wedding on the weekend and had lovely simple but beautiful bouquets on the tables and I'll show you a photo of the big display that they had at the altar and I thought we'd paint that today and show you how I go about working from a reference image. I'll be using a new paintbrush that I got. It has a grey tip to it. It's, I mean brushes can all come with all different sorts of coloured heads to them of course depending on the brand. This one is called Grey Matters by Jack Rick Rickson for water media and the purpose is having it grey means the colour if you're painting from reference and you want to get your colours really accurate the colour will show up of course on a, on a neutral grey background you'll get the closest colour match colours of course all appear differently when you're sitting them next to each other that whole colour wheel thing and complementary colours yeah I didn't buy it for the grey I just I sorted out and cleaned all of my brushes after that uh, video that I did and I might put a link here about bringing brushes back from the dead and I had such success with that I've been so excited I've gone through everything and given, given everything a big clean up and sorted them all and I realized I have lots and lots and lots of flat brushes but not so many well you know I'm addicted to art supplies when I say not so many round brushes I do have this many <laughs> brushes, but in contrast, I have this many flat brushes, which thrills me to pieces. <laughs> uh, but yes, I need some more round brushes and some bigger head brushes, seeing as I'm painting bigger. So uh, yes, I bought that. So we'll put that into practice today. I'll show you an image of the colours that I've got laid out, an image of the reference photo, but it's also up here when I turn the uh, camera around, you'll, you'll see that too and you can follow along. I hope you find something useful in your own art practice here. Okay, let's get painting.
okay there we go this took me about an hour to do obviously I shorten it perhaps if you're interested I could post a real-time painting of this to show you more closely the techniques after I took the border tape off I just decided it needed a little bit more contrast so I've added uh, as you saw those little bit bits of yellow paled down and brightened up yellow and uh, I think it really lifts it I think that's what it what it needed you'll also see from the reference photo that this bud here is uh, not open yet. It is a sunflower, but it's not open yet. And it did leave it quite uh, green and not a lot happening there. So a little bit of artistic license and I've included another sunflower there, which it is there, it's just not blooming yet. The other thing that I've added is these little wisps of uh, leaf and it just really helps create movement and energy in the piece and interest. And I'll often uh, do those little pieces, particularly in the teacup, you'll see little bits of, of leaf floating around in the, in the background. It's a nice fun thing and a, a nice way to create, create movement. Therefore, your eye is attracted to move around the piece. It gives it more interest. The other thing I've done this week, different to last week, it was super cold. It's actually quite a, a nice autumn day and I'll, I'll do, give you some shots of that. Last week it was bitterly cold, you saw the hail. <laughs> <laughs> and heard the rain on the roof and what I found was the paint was very very stiff so I was finding it hard to get that blend in the roses so normally it's very hot in the studio it's it's just a tin walls so I find in the summertime the paint really dries out so I use a drying medium in the summertime which is this drying retarder lovely Matisse product and it just, as it says, retards the drying time of the paint. Uh, in the winter time, I find that, yeah, the paint is very stiff. It doesn't flow off the brush as well. So today I've included some uh, matte medium. This is a golden product, matte medium, and it's an extender. So it helps extend your paint. It can help you not use so much paint. It also uh, gives a low, low gloss to acrylic paint. You know this should dry some of it will dry flatter but some of it should stay quite glossy because I've, I've got that matte medium in it's also helped to be a bit looser so it's flown off the brush a lot more uh, all these sketches and things that I do paintings that I do are available to purchase I have a website which you see at the end of every video you can check it out there or you can message me another way to keep in touch is on my Instagram I'll post there as well so I hope you've enjoyed today. I hope you've got something out of that. I'd appreciate it if you've enjoyed this to give me a like. Please feel free to share it with any of your friends that you think might find this entertaining and valuable. And with that, I will see you next week. Bye.